Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have my first guest from here, Newfoundland, Alex Gibson. Hi Alex, how are you doing? Pretty good, it's a great day, great evening to chat with you. Thank you for being here. So Alex uh, is still emerging professional with a strong foundation in HR earning his bachelor's degree from Mon in 2011, and more recently his master's in industrial relationship at Queen's University. Congratulations. Thank and you. over the years, he has solidified his experience by obtaining designations such as registered professional recruiter in 2014 and CPHR in 2020. Alex considers himself a new founder by choice, after coming to the province for the first time in 2006, he made his this province his home now and having spent closely half of his life here. And in his current role at Pentagon, Alex goes beyond conventional HR responsibilities, overseeing 360 recruitment, management coaching, development of HR programs, and actively supporting indigenous relations efforts to strategic partnerships. And in addition to his impactful career so far, Alex is a dedicated community leader, actively contributing as the chair of the St. John's Board of Trade and the director at Professional Engineers and Genoscientists, Newfoundland and Labrador. So Alex, in your long career in, in HR, so my first question will be in terms of resume. We are hearing a lot of these days, you know, have a resume that will uh, pass applicant tracking system or maybe use chat GDP to help with your resume at a first draft and then update. From your perspective, what can you give like three specific tips that people when applying for jobs should do in their resume? Yeah, so very real question. Uh, I think I've been doing interviews for 10, 15 plus years there almost now. So I've done hundreds, if not thousands and looked yeah. over many a resume is kind of in the weeds of it. And uh, maybe even when you gave me that question, I, I even thought to myself, uh, on a lot of postings that even we have, uh, I could post like for a safety advisor, for example, mm -hmm. and I might get a hundred plus applications mm -hmm. to that one role. So that is a lot for me to review, but we do it. Uh, but what the couple of tips that I kind of came up with that I look for uh, when reviewing those resumes is the first one is quantify your impact. So mm -hmm. if I'm looking for a safety advisor or a field engineer or superintendent or roles that are similar within my organization, mm -hmm. if you have a similar background to that and you've been in those types of roles, yeah. generically the job description will be the same or similar job <laughs> description to what I have within my company. So be different. Is, yeah. is how I put it. So walk me through how you've added value within those jobs uh, with quantifiable numbers. So I, that's why I say quantify your impact. Mm -hmm. So tell me, you know, I've been in this role. I suggest this idea. It saves the company X amount of money. Mm -hmm. I put forward this idea or I helped with this team. We were able to save time on this project and mm -hmm. advance the schedule. Those kind of things, because... I have to think that if you've done successful things with another organization, chances yeah. are you'll be quite successful yeah. with us there too. So it just kind of mirrors yourself kind of going forward there. Um, the next one, I say, bring your passion. Mm -hmm. I can see passion within a resume. <laughs> yes. uh, you know, the ones that are just kind of robotic and just say, boop, 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 I'm interested. Here's, here's the kind of basic levels yeah. and I just need a job. Uh, but show me your passion. Yes. Show me why oh, you're interested yeah. in being yeah. in that career, uh, why you chose this pathway, and what you've gotten out of your past roles that have gotten you here now to me. Uh, I find that trait, even with, in, when it gets to the interview stage, screens. Mm -hmm. And generally, that's the number one trait I would like to hire for is passion because yeah. i can't teach that um yeah. either have it or you don't yes. and if i can bring someone on that's passionate uh they're you know nine times out of ten probably yeah. quite successful and then the last one 
you know, I might be just me, but I feel resumes are kind of like your your own children in ways. And, mm -hmm. and I mean this probably in a very HR nerdy type of way, uh, but it should be your most polished and beloved kind of document. Uh, yeah. And that should shine through when you present it to other people. So it should be organized, properly formatted. And if it's not, well, what does that really say about yourself? Yeah. Because this is, again, one of your pride and true documents of your life, uh, presenting it to someone else to view yeah. and ultimately rank. You need to always put your best foot forward with those yeah. types of things. Yeah, it's important to have accomplishment statement. You know, uh, I worked with seven people from diverse background and we were able to save money or we were able to save time because those are the things that uh, recruiters are looking for. And does it yeah. matter if it's two page, three page? Or, uh, there's a discussion about page. How should it Yeah, be? I think it depends. And I think it depends on the role too. Um it, it, and that's it depends is a very ambiguous kind of answer i i think it shouldn't be you know a plethora of pages but yeah. you can still be precise in two to three pages and still quantify your impact in that amount of space you could probably do it in one you might do it in two i generally like the two page oh. kind mm -hmm. of as a sweet spot uh and if you're adding a cover letter or if you're adding a page of reference those are kind of additions to that but maybe your basic resume should be you know one to two page definitely the two pages okay. and should they go beyond 10 years or like 10 years back is okay so i like to make it keep it relevant is mm. the key so it might be that uh, you very jot your previous roles maybe 10 plus years out just mm. give me like the highlights of what you like were but really then focus on your more recent accomplishments your your more recent uh, uh, achievements yeah. and finally as a recruiter yourself i'm sure you get a lot of requests on linkedin or a lot of messages hey i applied to this role or or even maybe sometimes people send you directly and this is my resume can you help me find a job but let's go to the first one if people apply on the uh, on the website in your opinion, is it okay to tell the recruiter, hey, by the way, I applied, I'm passionate about, or this is what I can bring to the table. Do you take that into consideration or it all depends or you got a lot of requests and you're busy to look at them? Yeah, and that's it. I, I do get a lot of requests. I do get a lot of messages. I try my very best mm -hmm. to get back when I can. It might not be right away. It might not even be within 24 hours. I generally don't mind. I, I As long as you're screaming your passion and showcasing to me mm -hmm. your interest, I, I, I believe that genuineness. I believe that authenticity. Mm -hmm. uh, what I'll say, I don't like when you do approach the HR recruitment person to that role is when you just say, hire me, I need the job. Like, and that's, the, you don't quantify it anywhere yes. else thereafter that. Uh, those messages get ignored because I can't bring value back to yeah. you, unfortunately. And it, it's, it's just a, a very quick, easy move on. Yeah. Those are great tips, Alex. Thank you very much. So for the audience watching or listening us for the first time, I'm going to ask Alex a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis, kind of a journey with us. You can like, share, comment on the videos. So tune in next time for another great question with Alex.